All right, so we're checking out the only game that shows the public that slavery is a-okay. It's Game Dev Tycoon. Following the exploits of Kyle Smartbush, I have decided that, have you ever noticed that a lot of games, it's always about mankind enslaving animals? Like every time I made a game in these game dev games that do well, it's always like a Pokemon game. And in real life, they do very well. And they're always about beating down animals and bending them to our whim. So this time, we're gonna do something original. We're gonna do the opposite. In the year of, I, 19. I don't know what that 2019. I'm not really sure things are different now Anthropomorphic creatures roam the world looking to make humans into slaves. So what the hell why not? So we're gonna call this pokey Mon no actually you know what Pokemon kind there we go. We've got 12 million dollars in the bank I have no doubt that we can make a ton more as we spread the word of how eventually one day if we keep pissing off animals enough they're gonna develop opposable thumbs and become our overlords pokemon kind i don't know what kind of topic we should use yet but i definitely feel like this is a game for everyone to experience <laughs> animal town is one of them that's probably about right when all of our civil rights are taken away and we're the pets, I guess all the shops and everything are going to be owned by the creatures. But then, hey, then all those bastards have to pay taxes. I really have no idea. Uh, strategy? That moment when you go to your engine area and you see what you named <laughs> the engines in the past. It's between money, please, thank you, hoes, and cannibalism. Cannibalism didn't W. I can't even imagine what I was going to put here for the W. Clearly, I ran out of space. Oh, that moment when cannibalism doesn't W. There's probably a lot of story that can be told here, but a lot of it is so depressing since we're all going to be enslaved in the end that I'm just going to leave this at 15%. This guy's scratching his head trying to figure out what the hell he's supposed to write here. Come on, buddy. We got better dialogues going on now. That's, I think, something that I'd like to have in this, in a game like this. You know how you make these games and there's always multiple endings? And so all the people try and find all the secret endings. I'm going to, they're all going to be sad, depressing endings. Like every single one of them is going to end up with the annihilation of the human species. But people will constantly try and find like one good ending, but it won't exist. But they'll think it will. Yeah, work out all those bugs. I want nice, clean enslavements going on here. Beautiful. It's time to find out how well the world deals with uh, the alternate experience of not being the apex predators anymore. About, about as good as could be expected. Not bad, not good. You wishy-washy bastard. Damn. I mean, it's in the top 100. I'm gonna get a small booth because I don't really want people to see the failure that was Poke Mankind. I like how there's little notes written back here and the notes are cool, edgy, and then buck rabbit, but hedgehog was no good. Is this like the best types of, of lords to take over the human race is a buck or rabbit? It's kind of astonishing that 175,000 people were totally okay with this game. Popular genre RPG, we're doing it. Okay, we're calling this one Poke Massacre. It's gonna be a medium game this time. We're going deep, like Pokeballs deep. It's a historical game. Not really accurately historical, but historical nonetheless. RPG. Cannibalism did W get in there for the engine. Oh no, it seems Pokemon Kind had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Some of our customers are having a bad time and they demand that we patch the game. I didn't know that we had any customers. Well, I guess it did sell a lot of copies even though they lambasted it on the friggin' reviews. You always want to get your massacre on with animated textures and new graphics and a day-night cycle. Because for some reason, the day-night cycle always makes the difference. Even I'm always impressed when a game has a day-night cycle. Marketing, give it, a, give it a boost. You know what, give it another boost. Every time I make something stupid, it always seems to do okay. Poke Massacre is one of those things that sounds so dumb that I have a feeling it's gonna do all right. Realistic water, this is something to to research? I don't know, I guess it's better to see the floating bodies of all the, the family of the people who fail in the games. Oh god, here we go. Oh, that's gonna pay for the next couple of failures. Oh, Poke Massacre. You gleaming, sparkling bastard. Yeah! <laughs> 
110,000 copies sold immediately. Oh my God, we've already made $1.2 million profit. Branching story, surround sound, basic holograms. What the hell? We just got done doing 3D graphics. How the hell did we move all the way to holograms? I don't know, I'm not gonna question it. Boss, gluten has grown well under your management. I don't know how that happened. I think it's time to move the company out of this technology park and into a building worthy of our success. Shh, eight million dollars, Jesus. Oh, whatever, easy come, easy go. Oh my God, look at this. Now we're friggin' ballin'. It even has a soda machine where you can have such soda flavors as soda. I like how the bigger your office gets, the more monitors you have. Poke Massacre sold 782,000 units and generated $8.6 million in sales. It basically, one single game bought this, this entire building. This building, was bought with blood money. <laughs> Your blood paid for this. Damn it. It's it's that instance again where I get half a sentence and when I come back to this game three months from now, I'm gonna be wondering what the hell I meant. Selling human beings 101. <laughs> Evolution, that's probably about right. <laughs> hell yeah, everyone loved Poke Massacre. Let's get the medium booth. Or I think we may be, we may be showing off selling human beings 101. <laughs> what the hell fire in the office? A fire just broke out. We need to leave now. What the hell? Where? After the fire has been extinguished, you look and see that there's a lot of damage. Son of a bitch. What the hell caught on fire in here? Was someone trying to get a soda, see if it's flammable? I knew I should have never got any of these bastards a microwave. Over a quarter million people looking forward to learning how to sell human beings. The hype is real. The reviews are coming in. How do people feel about learning how to sell human beings? Could be the first in a long series. Slightly above average. I don't know how beautiful is the way to describe this, but you know what? I'll take it. 202,000 units sold on the very first chunk. That's not too friggin' bad. I always knew that selling people was a fantastic market to be in as we close in on a million sales. Strong audience, everyone. I'm not letting this go. Poke Mankind is going to be a success. I swear to God, I don't care what it takes. Poke Mankind. The Redemption. It's like that Final Fantasy MMO that came out, remember? It came out and everyone involved felt like they wanted to commit seppuku because all the people that played it hated it, but then they like completely redid it and it was made a hundred times better and they didn't feel like they wanted to die anymore. That's what we're gonna do here. It's gonna be a sport game. Hunting down human beings and turning them into slaves is a sport that the Pokemon have developed. There's rules and stuff. The different the thing is that the rules aren't really fair. We just got word that Selling Human Beings 101 was recently released by Gluten has racked up over a million in sales. <laughs> to think that was going to be the title of mine that got a million sales. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. I don't even know if this does anything, but what the hell, let's friggin' do it. Selling Human Beings sold 1.1 million units and made 12 million dollars in sales. <laughs> All right, let's tear it up. We were on the ropes with the previous Poke Mankind, but this time it's gonna be a Cinderella story. It's a dive for dandy in Cupcake City, baby. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, make the numbers fly. It's an outstanding achievement. It sure is. It is the redemption. Here we go. The first instance, 240,000 copies sold. Jesus, that's what I'm talking about. Congratulations, for the first time ever, you all get training. You still never get to go home, but in this instance, I'm gonna make you slightly better at what you do, which is make me money. Another memorable game made by Gluten has been released. I was positively surprised to see the level of polish that went into the underlying game engine. The effort really paid off. Poke Mankind, the redemption really deserves its top spot in the charts. Number 10 right now. <laughs> Uh, the world really needed to know. We're making friggin' stacks over here. We're doing the large booth. This really gives you the opportunity to see how many sickos there are in the world. It's over a half a million people coming to see Gluten with their Pokemon kind of redemption. <laughs> Got the console over here. Everyone gets to spectate all the different ways that human beings are turned into human cattle. <laughs> Speaking of human cattle, I just thought of our next game. Human farming. Simulator 2022. I think that's what year it is. It'll be next year. I don't even know anymore. Farming. Absolutely. 
We're doing large campaigns all the friggin' time now. What is your expectation regarding the success of Human Farming Simulator 2022? Do you think the game will be well received? Hell yes. Modesty my ass. People want to know how to grow appropriate levels of human beings to make capitalistic gains. Okay, the hype's getting out of hand. If, if this actually doesn't do well, I'm gonna feel like a dick. New research available. Virtual economy. Damn it, that would have been really good for human being farming simulator. I like how this review isn't even about my game. It's just about how the type of game plays well on the play system. Well, I think we may have been right. After selling a million units in a month, I think it's time to hire some more people so that we can ruin their lives. The budget's two million. Find me the best scumbags there are. Susie Manley, it doesn't look like you're wearing pants, but your scores are incredible. Honestly, with the scores this lady has, she doesn't have to wear pants at work if she doesn't want to. 1.5 million people enjoyed the simulative experience in selling, well, farming and then selling human beings. We decided to release some all new human harvesters at the uh, Grand G3 convention here for Human Farming Simulator 2022. Pokemon Kind Go. There's a lot of mobile devices now. I thought we would take advantage of it. So the big difference is, is that people are gonna have to go around in the real world and beat each other down and then capture each other and then turn people in to various acceptance booths that we'll put all around the world. We're gonna put it on both the mobile things here. It really seems like kind of a ways to have all this stuff, but I'm, I just, I, we need it. The video playback, absolutely. Get the freaking hype train going. Considering the very nature of this game is people trying to beat the hell out of one another, I feel like this is going to cause a real issue for public services like police, fire, and EMTs. Pokemon Kime go you know what to do uh uh oh you son of a bitch oh i'm so close game hero in all games i'm gonna put freaking hits out on you but when i see the numbers climb suddenly all my sadness goes away <laughs> now i know why i get like 600 emails a week from friggin' mobile games trying to get me to promote their game mobile games make so much money that it makes legit game development look pitiful in comparison. I have been playing Pokemon Kind Go and have tremendously enjoyed the experience of beating up all my friends. The art style in Pokemon Kind Go blends so well with the general feeling of the game. It's a perfect match. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could possibly be better. Julian, we're gonna have all that in a DLC. Don't you worry. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a large booth for Pokemon Kind Go. Come one, come all to the only stall where beating the crap out of one another is not only legal, it's highly endorsed. Seeing a profit margin of like $24 million makes me tingle in, pl in different places all at once. Pokemon Kind Go is now off the market. It sold two and a half million units and generated $28 million in sales. Who would have thought that selling mobile games about slavery would have been the way to go? We did it. We made, oh, I don't even know. We're making like 20 something million dollars a month at this point. But more importantly than that, we're spreading the gospel of uh, human farming simulation across the globe. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.